How is everybody doing? Good. You guys have been such a great audience. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Well, over the course of the last hour, I thought I would spend the next eight hours talking to you about security. Okay, yeah, Robin just fell off her chair in panic. Uh, I'll spend the next few minutes talking to you about security. I'm personally very excited about this. Uh, my first assignment at VMware was running end-user computing, and I started to really think about some of these aspects of management and security. And we've been, you know, graduated at VMware building a fairly large security portfolio and, and business. About half of our customers uh, in NSX are using them for security use cases. About 30 to 40 percent of our EUC customers are using it for security. So we're kind of like that big unknown vendor of security, and we thought we should do more because part of what's happening in the security industry is it's fundamentally broken. There's some analogies between security and healthcare. If you went to a doctor, my mom's a doctor, and you asked her, how do you stay healthy? And she says to you, you gotta have 5,000 tablets. If you did the math and you took a tablet every 30 seconds, it would take you a week to consume 5,000 tablets. And unfortunately, this is kind of what the security industry is today. 5,000 vendors, all broken, different fragmented agents sitting on people's laptops. All of them have got their own consoles. There's a lot of labor to pull this all together, manual labor often, and, and quite frankly, it's broken. And when you think about healthcare, the reason you don't have to pop 5,000 tablets every week is because you stay on a good diet. You make your healthcare intrinsically what you do every day. You eat your vegetables, you eat your proteins, you brush your teeth, you drink your water, and you stay healthy. And that's what we saw it had to be done in this vision, which Pat laid out. And those locks on the side are intrinsic security built into every aspect of the layer of that cake, into the infrastructure layer, the cloud infrastructure layer, into the application layer, and into the device layer. And that's what we've been focused on because the paradigm had to be changed from traditional security that is bolted on, disparate, you know, often not very intelligent, and often reactive to something that was more intrinsically built in, where the, all of the security is built into the infrastructure, was intelligent, it was smart, it was driven by AI, and it was proactive rather than reactive. And that's what we've been focused on. And if you go back to that diagram, we said, listen, how can we fundamentally change uh, it's security by taking that new landscape view of things, there are a couple of very key control points. And let me layer them for you one at a time. Because when you look at the core of security, it's about securing apps and data. And these control points, there are many, many categories of security, but these five or six are the most important ones. It starts with the network. Because the network security area is the biggest. And as you know, we now have 13,000 customers across NSX from the data center We've now gone up to the firewall, and we're adding ITS, IDS and IPS capabilities there, load balancing. You don't need a number of different networking tools. You can do a lot of that with us. Micro-segmentation, all of your internal firewalls can now be handled with VMware. OK, endpoint was traditionally thought of as just the client side, but we now have an opportunity to do both the workload and the client side, traditionally endpoint, from a common platform, which I'll talk about in a second. This will allow you to protect these endpoints, whether it's a workload on the server or a client device, in a fundamentally new way. Now, just stopping right there, I'm not even going to get to the other control points, just tying together networking security and endpoint security has never been done. Typically, the network security people don't get the endpoint security. The endpoint security people don't get the network security categories. If you were to do this like 15 years ago, it was like sort of like bringing together Cisco and Symantec. That never happened. Or if you guys don't care about Cisco and Symantec, it's like putting Messi and Ronaldo on one team, OK, for those of you Barca fans. So that's really what we've been trying to do, just in those two areas. But we're not done. There are other areas of security that are just important. Identity, super important to the end user. Cloud security, an growing area where everything from what you could do to, to ensure that there's no breaches and some of the configuration issues with cloud security to gateways and so on. And finally, the thing that pulls it all together is analytics that collects the telemetry from all those other five uh, control points and reasons over that data to help you make a better secure decision. These six control points we felt were the ones that we could bring together in an intrinsic security platform for the first time in the industry. Never been done before. And we have a very good starting point with all the investments we've been making already in NSX and Workspace ONE. So to add to that, we said, let's put more beef behind this story. 
more wood behind the arrow, and we decided to acquire Carbon Black. We announced the acquisition at VMworld US, and I'm happy to announce it's been closed a few weeks ago. They bring 6,000 customers, many of them are you, 500-plus um, partners, and are a leader in this category. And what we're doing with the Carbon Black Cloud is introducing something phenomenal in a number of different modules. There's like a seven different modules that they bring to us in every aspect of endpoint security, from endpoint detection to next-gen AV to device control uh, to a variety of other key capabilities. And then we're going to take two modules from within VMware, uh, App Defense and Vulnerability Management, and make that part of this nine-module suite. And this will be many, many more, but these are just the start, starting point of where um, endpoint security and workload security will begin. And as we do that, we think there's something fundamental that we can do to bring a unique integration into VMware products that's been never done. So this is a little bit of our sneak preview roadmap of what you will see VMware and Carbon Black and the ecosystem produce something that is much better together. Let's start, one at a time. Number one, we can take Carbon Black and layer it into vSphere and make it agentless. That's been the dream to make all of this stuff age. Why do we need another agent when you've got VM tools and key capabilities that will allow us to put Carbon Black into vSphere? We began that process with App Defense, where we can take it even a step further with Carbon Black, and that will come soon to you. Never been done before by any antivirus vendor who's been doing signature-based AV. We'll make it agentless for the first time. Next, we have a great footprint on the, uh, on the, on the client side with Workspace ONE. Tens of millions of clients now managed by that solution. We have the ability now to unify that on the client side so you reduce the number of agents. You have all these different agents for signature-based AV and vulnerability management and patch management. All of that will be unified, and we'll engineer some incredible innovation between the Workspace ONE agent and Carbon Black to unify that, with Carbon Black potentially sitting on top of Workspace ONE like a payload, and then you just install it, and it's beautiful. That's, in essence, what we will do on the client side. And then when you get to the network side, why not take that same EDR detection response and layer it inside NSX? That will also start to show up, and we'll call that network threat analytics. And finally, Secure State, this wonderful product. If you've been watching some of the breaches that have happened recently with simple configuration issues that have happened in one of the public clouds, we can track that with a risk and compliance and configuration tracking solution uh, called Secure State. And now we add Carbon Black to that too. And now we have a cloud security solution. So just these four areas has never been done by anybody in security. We will add that into the roadmap coming back from Carbon Black and completely differentiate any endpoint security tool from what we could do with Carbon Black. And it'll come soon before you know it. But then we take it to the ecosystem and they're all starting to embrace this one at a time starting with Dell and SecureWorks. So you saw a press release that came out today that Dell is announcing for their client laptops that Carbon Black is their preferred endpoint security solution starting today, combined with Dell trusted devices and SecureWorks. And that's going to be game change all the tens of millions of commercial laptops that Dell sells and that Dell sellers sell. But we won't restrict it just to Dell. If there are any of you who are partners already of Carbon Black, we'd like for you to also make Carbon Black your preferred endpoint security solution. Uh, there's everything that we're doing with all of these ones that I've named here, could be just a few of them, could be applied to all the 6,000 partners. We want to become your preferred endpoint security solution. So that's how we're thinking about security. And just mapping out, I just had time uh, between Pat and myself to cover network and endpoint and workload. We have a ton more innovation, and you're going to see us over the next several years march around this circle and innovate, innovate. Seven years ago, VMware was not even considered a networking vendor. Okay? Now I would argue one of two companies are doing some phenomenal things in networking. I believe the same thing is going to start happening in security. We're going to build on this, and you're going to see much, much more innovation from us. So I'm super excited about what you will see from us uh, in security.